Hello you guys. Look at my screen. Well, this looks really funky. I will now show you how to install LVOI. And for those of you who didn't know where to find it, you have to go to www.tokyoi.org or just google LVOI. It takes you to the same page. First one here, LVOI Tokyoi. Just you don't have to click add-ons. On this page you, you click the download for LVOI or download for Tokyo UI. I recommend LVOI because that's a bit easier perhaps and Tokyo UI is I guess really robust and stuff but it's just not really suited for me as a healer because of how I heal but you want to click download this as you see I've done this before go to add-ons if you feel really adventurous and I always feel adventurous on the add-ons you have stuff for LVOI kinda add-ons that makes it even better like add-on skins which will also skin the Scarter and Deadly Boss mode, so they look more like LVOI. It just makes more sense for me to do that. It looks, it makes everything look more coherent. And out here, you can see new people are always uploading new, exciting ways for your LVOI to function and look. So something I usually use is the Toy UI, which is not on the list here. But there's a lot of really nice stuff, new openables, really nice stuff. Max UI. Wow, look at all this. But I usually scroll down to the bottom here, go to user, users interfaces. Mine should probably have been in the LVOI edited version, but it is in the compilations and suites. LVOI edit, you should always remember and take a note of if it's Tokyo UI or LVOI because they don't work the same. Toy UI is what I use. Looks really good. So if you wanted that, you would click download this. So now you have Elf UI, Toy UI, and perhaps add-on skins. Now we just need to stick them inside some folder. And they of course, not of course, but they go in your add-ons folder. Oops, this is all my recordings. Go to downloads. Oh, look at all my secret stuff here. Go to Elf UI. Copy all this shit over. Make sure you don't have any old stuff. As you see here, I have add-on skins, LVUI, LVUI config, which comes with LVUI, and I have LVUI, Toy UI. So this is all good. Um, if something is working kind of funky, after you start up the game, you should probably go into the what the fuck folder, or, or whatever you want to call this. Go into whatever server you're on, your character. Maybe check you don't have any funky shit in here. But finding out what is causing a problem is can sometimes be really time consuming so I recommend do a backup of all this do a backup of your what the fuck folder or zip it, do whatever do a backup of this delete it and start up the game without it if something is still messing with you, delete the cache post as well if I just cause you any harm I'm really sorry this is what I do, I'm not an expert so this is the first step, now you've installed your add-on close this down let's go to the game recorder and as you see I'm standing here with a pretty great configured this is how I, it is configured on my shaman but what you will be presented with upon login is this screen which will look kind of different it will say welcome to LVI uh, you skip the process will one of the buttons be and you do not want to click skip you will just say ok next and then we'll say, click this button to set up CVARs. Click set up CVARs. This is basically what this one does. You will get some a bit of choices depending on if whether you are a healer or DPS or tank, which will set up your unit frames in certain ways and your some of your stuff and data text. I just stick with these. I don't like alternate colors. You can try that if see if it's something for you. Click chat interface add-ons. Add-ons will skin your add-on skins, uh, your add-ons like Scatter, but you need add-on skins for this to work. Click finish. This was only round one. I was about to fall back into my old habit of running around, but I'm not doing it. See, my action boss are kind of nice. I would like one more though, and I have this one, but I, it's really hard for me to track the cooldowns on it since it disappears when a mouse is known it. So to configure LVI, you do slash EC. 
go to your action bars out on the side here click the little plus sign and I just happen to know that this is bar 3 and this is mouse over remove that mouse over will make it hard for you to find out which bar is which when you are configuring this so if you can't see a bar and you're pretty sure you actually have it enabled but you just can't see it remove mouse over and you will find it so this is bar 1 this is bar 2 kinda random but what I would like is I don't like 4 bars right now I would just like to stick with 3 and have big button size on that this is the one I click Oh, someone thinks I'm leveling what? Oh no, doing a video on LVI. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> so this is the one. <laughs> this is the one I click. I click stuff here. The rest is bound to my keyboard. And this one is just easier to click when the buttons are really big. The rest I only show to get an idea of my cooldowns. I could probably use an add-on to track my cooldowns a bit more efficiently. I'm just so used to this and it kind of works out for me. So this was the action bars. That's something more you might want to do. If you are like me, go to action bars and click keybind text. Then you can see what buttons you have mapped to which, which can be useful when you're sorting out your spells and setting them up right. Afterwards it's okay to just remove it after you've memorized it. It doesn't look too pretty, does it? But in the end, who cares? So, let's go over the next thing, which is extremely complicated. Well, if you have never tried this before, so I will try to talk slow. We click the plus sign in unit frames, and this is something I always do. This is the most important reason for me to use LVI, because I'm really autistic, or almost, about this. Uh, sorry about it. If you're autistic, I didn't mean any bad point. Um, Go to body frames, click display frames, then we know what we're dealing with and how to configure this. And yes, I am really weird about my unit frames, but I like them in a certain way. So if you like them to be vertical, this is all good. If you don't, go to the growth direction and you do down and then left or whatever or the experiment, down and then right, well you can do that on the left we can also do that and uh, if you feel really adventurous do it a bit like this hmm this looks way different but as you might notice the debuff is what is showing here it does not look too nice I don't like it so we will have enable heal prediction though if you're a healer go to the tab next to party frames go to debuffs and right now it thinks you want them to be vertical and it doesn't really make sense for it now that it's all done differently so it doesn't know what to do so what you want to do is decide here on the per row how many you would like to debuffs you would like to show I would like to show three probably maybe four yeah why not show four Oh, 3 is probably fine. L let's just keep it 4. Number of rows, 1. Looks a bit better, but I don't like it on the middle of the health bars. So I go to attach to. Right now I set to frame. So it's basically in the middle of the frame, growing to the left. I would like it a different place. So I go to anchor points. I choose left. This makes a bit more sense to, to me even make them a bit big, bigger to remind me I need to remove that shit or be careful at least I could do that you don't have to have them this big the offset decides where they are X is for the vertical axis Y is for the Y axis or the horizontal now it all lines up a bit better kind of the font really big you see oh you can see how many stacks really easy this is super useful. So this was the debuffs. But the buffs are not showing by default. So you click the buffs up here. Click enable. And this is where LVI would like to put them. I don't like them there. I would like them to the left. But over here, the 
disappear to the middle of my debuffs. I don't want that. So I go to the X offset, put them a bit down here. And just because I can, I will put them on the bottom. Jesus, this is going to kill me if I don't set it correctly. 11. It's not 11. Don't have an arm lock on. 11. There we go. Perfectly lined up. We need this. This is how to do it. We we'll only show two buffs. You can, of course, have more. Oh no, here we go. We just fucked everything up again. So I would have to do a bit. I mean, there's endless of customization to do here. So if you enjoy this, <laughs> I really recommend. If you enjoy configuring your UI, this is amazing. You can do everything. So let's say this is how I like it. Wow, great. Your frames are perfect now. Let's just leave it at that. However, if you noticed, my uh, health bar is missing health. is right now orange because of my druid, or brown, whatever you would like to call it. It's because clash backdrop is enabled. If you would like black, remove it. Choose a different health backdrop. Let's say, maybe you want a excited, like a relaxing something, soothing blue, something, whatever, so you don't stress out. Pick this, go to custom health backdrop. There we go. You can have class colored health bars, so that a shaman would be blue here. You can do all this. I just like it this way. This is standard. With the uh, toy UI, I'm not entirely sure about elf UI, but since you're configuring this, I guess it doesn't really matter what is your standard, as long as you get it the way you want it. And yeah, you can configure the fonts, you can do all kinds of really funky stuff. So this is how I set up my stuff. Another thing I do is I go to the data text. If you take a look at my map up there, I have the time showing. But if you are one of the persons that don't think time is super valuable for you since you might have a clock or something. <laughs> I, I do have a I do have a showing all the time though. But if, if you have a clock or something and you think this is pretty redundant, you just go to minimap right. This is the center though for me, but it doesn't really matter. Choose maybe guild. Then when you mouse over it will show how many guildies are on. You can go to the garrisons which is in the chat down here. I'll have chat. I would like to show my friends. I turn friends on. Super handy. That was a super easy way to get it a bit more personalized, I guess. So this is just the way I do it. You can do all kind of really funky stuff. You can configure your nameplates, which is something I never really do. I guess if you're a DPS, you might want to do some stuff in here. You might want to, if you're a really awesome tank, you might want to configure some stuff here under the target of the target frame. So you can see, if you target the boss and you see his target, you might want to make sure you can see his debuff. So you go here, click enable. All kinds of funky stuff. But yeah, I hope you learned something. This was all for me. And please let me know if there was something you didn't understand. Take care. And thanks for all the comments. And thank you for letting me know I was running around too much. I hope this was better.